Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the Cambridge Mass Market Update for the week ending February 2nd in multifamilies. We're also going to have the analysis of January 2011 versus December of 2010 and January 2010. And uh, let's just jump right out. We got a, one new listing that came on today, 97 Pe excuse me, Pemberton Street. It's a two-family for 700000 Just by knowing um, the area, I think that uh, this is quite possibly going to be converted into a condo and then someone's going to go ahead and put that back on the market, split the garages up, and then you have uh, two good sized units. So that's 97 pound. And then we get this one on Hancock Street, which is a five through nine family. It's like a six unit building for 1.5. Um, renovated six family featuring imaginative kitchens. What is that? Bath and high ceiling. Okay, new cobblestone parking spaces, new roof and exterior, easily improved for short money. Seller has enclosed porch and number five and added kitchen. Looks like they want offers quickly too. And um, I'll play. Uh, all right, let's play a little game at one point five million, and say he gets it for one four, and he puts. Oh, I'm sorry. He puts down 20% or 25% as he has. Let's call it 30%. So he puts down 428,000. He gets an interest rate of 6%, and his insurance is five grand a year. He's looking at a monthly payment of 6,900 bucks. Now, his current gross income is over 120,000 minus 20,000. So he's making 100 grand a year in revenue or um, in profit before debt service so 100,000 divided by 12 is roughly 7 8 8 times 12 is 96 so it's called 8,000 so he could be potentially making 1,000 bucks a month on his $420,000 down payment maybe it could be work, good work for somebody but I'm not too sure so 61 Prince Street, this one under agreement. It's a three family for 779. Needs work, but where can you find a three family with two driveways on a large level lot? This property um, could be converted into condos or just held on as a rental, but it was on the market for 333 days, so I'm guessing they took less than 779. 76 Winter Street, it's a two family that sold for 305, uh, which is pretty cool. 1880 square feet, minutes to Leech Mayor and the museum. Good rental history, and I think that's a uh, fantastic deal at 305 for a two family in Cambridge. No parking, but come on, it's a two family under uh, under 310. But let's throw in all of the multis in Cambridge right now and see what's trending. 15 properties. We got 15 properties. Uh, we got the, that new one on Pemberton. We got uh, a three-family for 549 that came on a little while back. Let's take a look real quick at that one. All one bedroom, so I'm not sure if that's going to be a good kind of conversion. No parking. Depending on how much work it needs. Um... All right, so the average Cambridge multifamily is asking 1.011 million with a market time of 192 days. And the one that went under agreement took significantly longer than that and took uh, it was less in the asking price. And then Winter Street was obviously um, sold for 305 for 287 days so you can see that they started at 349 and probably a little bit more than that and now they got uh, 
305 after waiting a significant amount of time, and I suspect the same to happen with 61 Prince Street. So if you see anything on here that that piques your interest, that's over 200 days, and now's the time to throw in an offer and see what happens. Give me a call 978. Oh, let's go ahead and do the multis. January versus January. Looks like we had two sell in January of 2011. Two properties, 574 ask, 540 close, 148 days. One of those was uh, nine days too, so you can see that that 775 was in a good, uh, was a sought after property. And then in January of 2010, we had um, four properties, 553 ask, 519 close, 165 days. So it looks to, you know pretty similar from January of 2010 and January of 2011. We went up a little bit in uh, close price, about 20 grand, and the market time went down about 20 days. Now you can see that we did have um, one property that takes seven days. And let's do, lastly, December. Multifamilies in Cambridge, Charlestown, South Boston, they don't tend to come on the market uh, because people scoop them up too quickly. And in December of 2010, we had three properties. Average ask 1.899, average close 1.706, and a market time 179 days. And obviously that has something to do with this Gore Street property that has 16 units or so. Nice, nice units. Six units for 3.4 million. Wow. All right, so that is your Cambridge Mass multifamily market update over the past uh, few months and what was going on this week. We'll talk to you soon.